Inaugurating the committee, the speaker expressed the shock that critical agencies in the oil and gas sector such as the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, Ministry of Petroleum Resources among others failed to honor the invitation to the investigative hearing. Represented by the chairman of the House Committee on Petroleum Upstream, Al-Hassan Adodogwa, the speaker said if decisive action was not taken to address the issue, the country might be thrown into a deeper fiscal crisis due to dwindling revenue from the oil and gas sector. It is reported that Nigeria loses between 5% to 30% of its crude oil production on a daily basis, unfortunately. Data available through the yearly Records of Nigeria Executive Industries Transparency Initiative NIETI show that Nigeria's oil production declined from 2.51 million barrels per day in 2005 to 1.77 million barrels per day in 2020. NIETI reports also show that 619 million barrels of crude valued at over 46 billion US dollars were stolen in the period of 2009 to 2020. Also speaking, Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Kabir Usman, condemned the theft of Nigeria's resources with impunity. The burden on losses occasioned by oil theft and its associated impact on the economy is completely unacceptable and cannot be tolerated by any government who sincerely loves its citizens. They are manner the act, this act of sabotage and the breach on our national security and sovereignty is carried out on daily basis, make a recapture of our pride as a nation and the even a mockery of our security and intelligence agencies. The House Committee has resolved to submit reports with regards to the lingering issue of oil theft for appropriate action. Organi Victor, ITV News.